Hi everybody, welcome back to Do Yoga with Gail. Time to unroll your mat, grab a couple of blocks, maybe a blanket or a strap, any other props that you might wanna use for your practice today, anything that will serve you. Please remember to modify any part of your practice as it seems fit to you. Please remember to subscribe. Anytime I add new content, you will be notified as well as if you can click the little like button. Thank you very much. I do live Zoom classes as well. Feel free to peruse the description for information on my website where you can get my up-to-date schedule. Feel free to reach out. Today we're starting in a comfortable seated position. So I'm sitting on a block with my ankles crossed. Maybe that works for you or you can sit on your heels. Coming into Jnana Mudra, bring the thumbs and index fingers together, right? touching the tips of both fingers. You can turn the palms face down or you can turn the palms face up, completely up to you. Closing the eyes if that's comfortable to do. Sit tall. Softening the space between the eyebrows. Feel the shoulder blades drop down the back. Softening into your seat. Begin tuning in to the sound of your breath. Begin lengthening the breath each time you inhale. Each time you exhale, keeping the breath moving in and out through the nose as best you can. Just letting the breath circulate through the body. Start to feel the energy move. Maybe even firing up your ujjayi breath. Let's take three more deep breaths right here. Bringing palms together at the heart, relax your chin to your chest. Setting an intention for your practice today. You're welcome to join me chanting one ohm as we open our practice today, taking a deep breath in, then taking a deep breath out. Inhale. Oh. Opening up the eyes. Reach the arms overhead, interlace all 10 fingers, let the hands settle at the back of your head, maybe toward the base of your skull, but putting very little pressure, almost no pressure here. Start letting your elbows soften out to the sides, the shoulders drop away from the ears, maybe start feeling a little opening, a little stretching, a little release through the shoulders. Keep the chest lifted. And as the elbows continue dropping out to the sides, let your eyes start looking up toward the sky. 
and maybe in a very subtle way start to pick up your chin about a quarter of an inch. All right, just until you feel another gentle stretch through the shoulders. Take one more deep breath in. Then with, again, almost no pressure on the back of the head, start to exhale, bring the elbows in, rounding down, curl in. Inhale, sit tall, chest up, elbows out. Exhaling, elbows in, curl round. Three more like that. Move with the breath. Exhale. Two more. One more time. Start coming back up, find a neutral position. Let your arms just relax out toward the sides. Then picking up the left arm, take your left hand to the outside of the right ear. Again, very little to no pressure. Let your left ear drop toward the shoulder, extending the right arm out toward the side with your fingertips reaching toward the mat. Take one more deep breath. Releasing out the left arm, bring your head back to center, go the other way, take the right hand to the outside of the left ear. Little to no pressure. Your right ear dropping gently toward the shoulder, the left arm reaching out, fingertips toward the mat. Coming back up, release the right arm out. Let's come off the seat, come onto hands and knees. Extending your right leg back on the mat. Start with the toes tucking in. So the right heel gently presses back, waking up the leg. Start lifting up the right leg, Step to the knee, drop the right knee outside the left leg. And if you want adding maybe a little look to the right, a little look to the left. And just working a little bit of the side body. One more breath. And coming back to center, bring the right knee back over, left leg back, tucking the toes into the mat. Lifting up your left knee, place it outside the right leg. And again, maybe look left or right or just hold center. That's okay too. One more breath. Coming back to center, bring your left knee over. Start tucking the toes, come to down dog, lift the hips up and back. Feel free to walk out the feet a little bit, bending the right knee, the left. Especially if you haven't had much of a chance to stretch things out yet, go for it. Big inhale, heels high. Exhale it out, heels back toward the mat. Putting a little bend in the knee, look forward through the hands, walk or hop the feet to the front of the mat. Keep the feet right where they are, hip width distance, hands to opposite elbows. If it feels good, you can nod the head or shake the head yes, no, sway a little side to side. Switch the grip opposite on top. Relaxing the arms down toward the mat, begin rolling up slowly to stand. Pressing down through the legs, 
stacking one vertebra at a time until you come all the way, all the way up, drop the shoulders back. Palms forward, Tadasana. Big inhale, sweep the arms around. Take your left hand, grab the right wrist, stretch up and over toward the left side. Keep the tailbone lengthening down, reach up through the fingertips, chest high. With your next big inhale, return to the center. Exhaling, dive over the legs, soften the knees. Chest up on the inhale, maybe palms to shins. Exhaling, step the left leg back in a low lunge. Step the right foot back to down dog. With your inhale, roll into your plank. Child's pose, three deep breaths. On your next inhale, lift the right leg. Step foot to the right thumb. Step all the way forward to the front, fold over the legs, relax the head down again, roll up slowly. Press down, uncurl, keep the breath moving. Stand tall, shoulders back, Tadasana. Big inhale, sweep the arms around. Right hand grabs the left wrist, stretch up, stretch over toward the right side. Keep the tailbone lengthening down, lift out of the waist. With your next inhale, come back to center. Exhaling, dive over the legs. Chest up on the inhale, lengthen. Exhale the right foot back in low lunge. The left foot back to downward facing dog. Big inhale, roll forward to plank. Chaturanga. Down dog or take child's pose. Deep breaths. And from your downward facing dog, big inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Step all the way to the front, fold over the legs, rounding down one last time. Roll up slow, nice and easy. Press down, come up. Stand tall, drop the shoulders back, Tadasana. Inhale the arms, sweep around, bringing the palms together this time. Interlace the fingers, index fingers pointing up toward the sky. Palms together, elbows nice and strong, nice and straight. Biceps close to the ear. Shift your weight to the right leg. Warrior three, left leg up and back. Don't let the arms slip away from the ears. Keep the hips level. Index fingers pointing forward. One more breath. Lower your fingertips toward the mat. Keep the left leg lifting. Hips level, chest up like a supported warrior three. Step into low lunge, left foot back. Maybe blocks under the hands if you choose, depending on how, how flexible the hamstrings feel here. Start to straighten out the right leg, rounding down. All 10 toes point forward. Avoid the urge to grip the toes on the mat or lift the toes up. Let's take another deep breath. On your inhale, bend the right knee, lengthen the spine, look forward. Holding as you exhale, soften the back knee, come into high lunge, bring both arms all the way up. Either keep the back knee soft or straighten it out. Stepping the back leg all the way up, hands to the left knee. Step back to high lunge, left foot back, arms overhead. Warrior two, reach out to the side. Look over the right middle finger. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's bring palms to prayer at the heart. High side lunge, go to the left. Bend the left knee, stretch out the right leg, one breath. Come back up, bend the right knee, hands to the inside of the right foot, turn on the back toes. Down dog split, the right leg up and back. Put a bend in the knee, open the hip, head down. Start to drop at the right hip. Lunge, foot to the thumb. 
step all the way forward to the front fold over the legs and round it down roll up slowly to stand press down uncurl head up shoulders back Inhale the arms around, palms together, interlace fingers, index fingers, point them up, biceps to the ears, shift your weight to the left leg. Keep the hips level, right leg up and back, tilting forward like a seesaw. Reach the right leg back, reach the arms forward, take one more breath. Supported warrior three fingertips toward the mat. Use blocks, of course, if you like, that's absolutely fine. Take one more breath. Maintaining the length, low lunge with the right foot back on the mat. Maybe blocks under the hands if you choose. Straighten the left leg, round it over the knee, forehead to the front shin. One more breath. Let's low lunge, bend the left knee, lengthen the spine, look forward, high lunge, pick it all the way up, soften the back knee or straighten it out. Looking forward, step up with the right leg, hands to the right knee, nice and easy movements, maintaining the balance, step it back to high lunge, right foot back, arms overhead, warrior two, reach out to the side. Palms to prayer at the heart, this time high side lunge, go to the right, stretch the left leg, one breath. Then bending up at the left knee, hands to the inside of the left foot, turn on the back toes, down dog split, left leg up and back. Bending at the knee, open the hip, head down. Start to level the hips, low lunge, foot to thumb. Step all the way forward to the front, fold over the legs, rounding down, roll up slow. We're going to put all of that together. One, keep the movements nice, control, deep breaths. Inhale, sweep the arms around, palms together, interlace the fingers, shift your weight to the right leg, warrior three, left leg up. Keep the arms strong. Supported warrior three, fingertips toward the mat, chest up. Low lunge, left foot back. Start to straighten out the front leg, round it down one breath. Low lunge, bend the front knee, lengthen the spine. Start looking forward, lunge. Stepping up with the left leg, hands to the left knee, slow, slow, slow. Maintain balance, step it back, high lunge, arms all the way up. Warrior two, arms out to the side, palms to prayer at the heart, high side lunge, go to the left, back of the mat. Lower the hands to the inside of the right foot, turn on the back toes, down dog split, right leg up and Lower the right hip, level out, low lunge, step through. Step all the way to the front, fold over the legs. Last time, roll up slow. All right, it also gives you a nice opportunity to catch the breath. Shoulders back, palms forward, inhale, arms sweep around. Interlace fingers, index fingers up, shift your weight to the left. Warrior three, right leg up and back. Slow controlled movements, keeping it going, supported warrior three. Fingertips to the mat, chest up, hips level. Low lunge, the right toes back. Maybe the blocks under the hands as you straighten the left leg and round it down. Rebend the front knee, lengthen the spine, look forward, high lunge, arms all the way back up. Stepping up with the right leg, bend the right knee, hands to the knee. With control, step it back to high lunge, arms overhead. Warrior two, reach out, palms to prayer at the heart, high side lunge, go to the right. Come back, bend the left knee, hands to the inside of the foot, turn on the back toe, split, left leg up and back. Start to level the hips, drop the left hip, low lunge, step the foot through, step all the way forward, fold over the legs. Feet together, toes and heels touch, bend the knees, sink the hips down, Utkatasana, chair pose, Bakasana, crow pose, fold over the legs. 
palms flat, spread the fingers wide, look in front of the hands, heels up, bending the knees, bring the knees to the upper arms. Watch the breath, drishti in front of the fingertips. Keep the breath going. The breath is gonna help you balance. Come forward onto toes. When you're ready, start lifting your feet. If you've already come forward so you're on your toes, that's as far as you need to go. The feet lift up, the toes touch together. You can jump it back to Chaturanga if you choose or step it back. We're gonna meet in Down Dog. From your downward facing dog, start to walk your hands halfway back to your feet. So you're in a short down dog or a long forward fold. Take your right hand, reach it outside the left leg. So your right hand reaching somewhere between the ankle, the knee, maybe slide the hand down if there's room to go further toward the ankle. Soften the right elbow, peek under the left arm and hold for a deep breath in. Hold for a deep breath out. Bring the right hand back, take the other hand outside the right leg. Sliding it down a little bit if there's room, bending softly at the left elbow, peek under the right arm and hold for a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring your left hand back to the left side. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Padangustasana, grab onto your big toes in yogi toe lock. Lift the chest on the inhale. Exhale, round it down. Three deep breaths. On your next inhale, start lifting the chest. Exhaling, releasing out the toes. Padahastasana, hand to foot. We're lifting the fronts of the feet. Slide the hands under. On the exhale, drop the toes. Drop the head down as you continue folding over the legs. Two more deep breaths. And start to lift the chest, big inhale, releasing out the hands as you exhale, down dog, walk the hands all the way back out. On your inhale, bring it forward to plank, lower all the way onto the belly as you exhale. Untuck the toes, slide the arms back, interlace all ten fingers, setting up shalabhasana. Tops of the feet, so you start to feel your kneecaps lift off the mat. Draw the arms back, press together. So the shoulders, with a big inhale, lift. All the way down onto the mat. Slide the hands at sides of your chest. The knees go right back into child's pose. Separating the knees, toes together, hips to heels. Feel free to take this a little deeper if you want to work this into a tadpole pose, which is more of a yin stretch. So child's pose is, is restorative right here. If you want to go yin, keep the toes together, separate the knees wider apart, maybe even slide a blanket under the knees. That might help just ease the pressure on the knees as they rest on the floor. Come forward so the hips are off of your heels, right? So you're going to come forward and then walk the hands out. Let's take another three to five deep breaths.
start to slide the hands off the mat, bring the knees in, sweep your feet off to one side, sweep the legs all the way around front. Let's lower down onto the back, hugging the knees in toward the chest. Maybe rock a little side to side if that feels good or grab a happy baby pose. Bringing your feet back down onto the mat, we'll do a reverse figure four, reverse pi uh, pigeon pose. Taking your right ankle, keep the left foot down, right ankle above the left knee. Interlace the fingers behind the left leg, flex the feet, hug it in, take three deep breaths. Coming into shoelace pose, keep your feet where they are, but let go of the hands. Take your left hand to the top leg, close to the ankle. Take your right hand to the bottom leg. Bring your top leg over to the left while your bottom leg reaches to the right. Your right knee is just about on top of the left. Your feet reach out to the sides, almost like tying a neat little bow. Let's take another deep breath or so. Start releasing, uncross both legs, feet on the mat, go the other way, left ankle above the right knee, hug it in as you interlace fingers behind the right leg, three deep breaths. Keeping your feet right where they are, let go of the hands. Now it's your right hand grabbing the top foot, your left hand grabbing your bottom foot, shoelace pose. Slide the top leg over to the right while your bottom leg slides to the left. Left knee on top of the right, keep the feet reaching out to the left and the right, gently pulling. Enjoying another little stretch through the outer hips. Let's take another deep breath. Letting go, unwrap the feet, the legs, bring the feet on the mat. The, the knees come together, the feet separate. Keep the feet on the mat, but your knees are gonna be dropping in. Let your arms rest on the, on the body, your palms resting on the belly. Three deep breaths right here. Just releasing the lower back. Let the arms drop out toward the sides, extending out the legs on the mat. Keep the feet, the, the legs glued together, the feet, the knees together. Sweep the arms overhead, either keeping your hands side by side or just placing one hand on top of the other. Take a nice stretch here to begin with. Coming into Banana Asana, nice yin stretch, side body stretch. Start by walking your feet over toward your right side. Keep the hips where they are. Walk your hands, your arms also over toward your right side. Keeping both arms on the mat or the floor. So your left arm, avoid it you know, avoid it popping up off the, off the mat. So both legs level on the mat as you come into this crescent shape. Both arms overhead, reaching toward the right. Keep the feet, the knees glued together. You'll start to see why we call this banana asana. 
right? This crescent moon shape, this banana shape. Let's take another three to five deep breaths. Really sending the breath through the whole left side of the body. And start to walk your feet back to center, walk the arms, the hands back to center. Let's go the other way. Walk your feet over toward the left side. Your arms walk over to the left, feeling the stretch now through the outer right side of the body. On a scale of one to 10, you should be working at about like a five or six. And taking three to five deep breaths, really sending the breath through the whole right side. Start to walk your feet back to center, with the hands, the arms back to center. Hug the knees in again toward the chest. Rocking a little side to side. Maybe a happy baby pose. Good. Bring both feet back to the mat. One more little twist before settling into Shavasana. Let the arms relax by your sides for chest legs up. Bend the knees a little. Cross your right leg over the left. Bending at the knees again. Maybe even the right foot hooks behind the left. Maybe not. Don't worry about it. Um, like eagle leg. Drop your knees over to the left side with both arms now out to the sides like airplane wings. So your right hip is on top. Maybe take your left hand toward the outer right leg. Try peeking to the right. Let's take one more deep breath. Returning back to center on your back. Lift the legs, uncross the right leg, keep the knees bending, left leg over the right again. Bend the knees again, maybe hook the foot. Don't worry if it doesn't go, just an option if you wanna try it. Drop your knees to the right as you twist right left arm out, either keep the bo both arms reaching out or your right hand on top of the left leg. Shift your gaze to the left. One more breath. Start coming back to center. Return onto your back, lifting the legs, uncross the left leg. Let the legs reach out on the mat. Coming into Shavasana, of course, if there's any final little stretch or anything you wanna take before settling into your corpse pose, go for it. Maybe if you wanna roll up a blanket behind the knees to support the knees, it helps to release the lower back. That might feel good. Maybe cover yourself with a blanket or grab a sweater. Palms are facing up, eyes closed. Just let go of the breath, returning to soft, natural inhales, soft, natural exhales. Letting go as you settle into stillness.